Hello YouTube friends. Today we are doing a Target haul. I went to Target because my middle child needed some new pants. He has ripped the holes out of I think at least five pairs of pants over the course of this fall and winter and so it was definitely time for him to get some new pieces for his wardrobe. But if you are new here I just want to say hi my name is Meredith and welcome to my channel Marival Trades where we do a lot of things but we also do lipstick of the day. So this one is actually a color I purchased at Target a while ago. This is from the brand of Milani. It's the one that I'm wearing and it's a traditional bullet lipstick and it's in the color number 25, a Naturally Chic. This is one that I grab for over and over and I really love the shade. I think it's a nice wearable everyday sort of color. So anyways, let's get into this haul. So I needed to get pants, like I said, but while I was there, I picked up a few other things, you know, like you do. Lots of other things. <laughs> so I thought I would share some of it's boring, some of it's household, some of it's fun stuff from the dollar spot, and some of it's children's clothing. The first thing that I got is a new bottle of OxyClean Laundry Stain Remover. Um, I picked up the spray bottle because unfortunately my Target no longer seems to carry the refill bottle, which is unfortunate. Um, so I'm going to have to be on the hunt to find a new place to purchase that. But lots of kids, lots of stain removal needed. So this is my favorite and I really feel like it does such a great job on so many different types of stains. So happy to have that back because I have been out and I've got a few shirts that are saved in a special pile on top of my washing machine <laughs> so that I can free free them. So next up in my nice reusable bag is some hand soap. This one I had not seen before and this is the Mrs. Meyers rose scented hand soap. Am I totally off the bandwagon here? Has this been around for a while and I didn't know about it? Or is this like seasonal for Valentine's Day? First of all, isn't that color so pretty? I love it. I'm totally putting this one in my bathroom. So the difference with this one is, first of all, it smells beautiful. It actually smells like fresh roses. Like if you go into the floral shop and like sniff the floral cooler roses, like mm, that's what it smells like. It smells really nice. So it's not like that really heavy rose scent that's artificial. It smells really nice. So if you are at your Target, I recommend you give it a sniff. It's a good one. So I'm happy to have that. You can never have too much hand soap. And then Target also had the coffee on sale, so I picked up two bags. These two are my favorite flavors, and I drink a lot of coffee every month. So this is the Archer Farms brand. I got one of the Caramel Macchiato, which I really like. And then I also got some of the vanilla, bre the vanilla bean creme brulee coffee, also a favorite. Really like those. And I think they were $4.99 each if you bought two, is how that deal worked. And then I also picked up some dollar spot stuff. So they had these really pretty roses, and they're on little clips. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. So they're on clips. I thought this was absolutely beautiful. So obviously it's more Valentine's Day y, but, um, and they had them in different colors. There was a white one, there were several different, like pink. Um, here, hold on, let me show you. <laughs> they had some really pretty pink ones where the inside is a darker pink and the outside is a lighter pink. And then, of course, they had this red one. So I thought these would be absolutely beautiful. To be honest, you could almost even clip it in your hair if you wanted to. I I might do that someday, who knows. Um, but I also thought they'd be really pretty to clip on top of a gift or a package. I thought this red one you could totally use for Christmas if you wanted to. So, I don't know, who knows, maybe I'll clip that on a wrapped little gift in a box swap or something. But I thought that were just, they were just beautiful and so I picked them up. Um, I also got one more. <laughs> then they also had these really pretty little favor bags. So I did pick up a couple of these. Um, and I like these to be able to just like wrap a gift that you could absolutely put like a couple of lipsticks and a nail polish in here for gift giving. So I liked the, the pink and white stripe. It wouldn't necessarily have to be like a Valentine's Day thing. They also had a green one with like white polka dots and there was a white one that had like little hearts on it. I want to say they were black or were they gold? I can't remember. But they had several different ones and they were all really pretty. So I picked these guys up. And then I got some pink crinkle paper because, you know, I've been asked to do a few box swaps lately, so I figured this would be fun to have um, just to dress up the boxes a little bit. I also have some, like, just plain, um, like, white 
crinkle paper that's come in some other boxes so I figured I could mix some of the pink in with the white just for a little splash of color. And then I did get some ultra soft Kleenex because it's sniffles season and one can never have too many Kleenexes. But that's one thing that I'm trying to find an alternative for. I've tried the um, Grove Collaborative, their tissue that's made from like bamboo and um, like recycled sugarcane fibers and they're not very comfortable. But I really want to find a better environmentally friendly alternative. I'm really, really trying to get serious about making changes, sustainable changes for my household. So to be honest, I think I'm going to see if I can find some handkerchiefs, possibly even like going to a thrift store or like a, I don't want to say antique store because that, it sounds like I'm damaging an antique, but I honestly want to go get some handkerchiefs some ones that are already around and purchase them and I think I'm going to start using them and try to get my family to use them as much as possible. I'm not sure we'll ever completely be weaned off of um, tissue, facial tissues or Kleenexes, but I really want to start making even more environmentally friendly changes. I just have been seeing the horrific photos from Australia and the effects of climate change and all of those things and I just feel like I need to step up what I am doing like reusable bags are just not enough paper straws are not enough and so um, I'm just trying to challenge myself to find more sustainable options for everything not just for a few things so that's my challenge to you so I'm gonna put my environmental soapbox away now and continue on with the haul <laughs> but are you making any changes in your life for 2020 to help the environment. All right, so another reusable bag here. Obviously, I'm not perfect, but uh, I did pick up some of this Tao or Sao, however you say it. I don't know. I'm probably butchering it. This is the Vanilla Bean Macaroon Black Tea. It says, savor this black tea confection with of fragrant vanilla with a dash of cinnamon. Um, I wanted to try this out. Georgia Sunshine was saying how much she absolutely loves this tea, and so I decided I would give it a try. I'm trying to drink more tea and a little less coffee, and so yeah, thought I'd give it a try. Can't really smell it through the box, so I'm interested to try that. This is a repurchase for me, however. This one I absolutely love. This is the Vanilla Chai Black Tea from Bigelow. It is delightful. Um, I've been having a cup of this pretty much every single afternoon and I've really been enjoying it. So it's supposed to be, and they put a sticker over the, the label, but it's smooth vanilla and flavorful spices and ah, darn it, I can't read the description. But yeah, I've been really enjoying it a lot and I feel like it's just enough flavor, but it's not too sweet. So it's really good. I've been liking it. And then some kids clothes. So my eight year old and my 10 year old are both very much on the short side. So we bought a pair of size six um, jeans for him. Now these ones are lined, has a cute little plaid on the inside and this rolled cup, which I do believe roll, yeah, it does, it rolls down. Um, but this one is an adjustable waist, which my kids need cause they're just, they're peanuts and it's fully lined. So I really liked that one. So. These are the less expensive alternative to the Gap fully lined jeans. Um, and these ones were $19.99 regular price. So I figured that wasn't too terrible for a pair of jeans. We did find a pair of sweatpants. These ones were on clearance. These are also a size 6-7. These ones um, were normally $14.99 and they were marked down to $10.48. So he can totally wear these to bum around the house or they do gymnastics on the weekends and they need, you know, stretchy, movable pants for that. Um, so these will be great for him. And they have a tie waist that you can actually like cinch in. So that's good because he's just a peanut. And then I also got my older son. I was hoping to get these for my younger son, but they just didn't have them in his size right now. So I'll have to check back again later. But these are the Cat and Jack joggers. These are reinforced knee and they are also fully lined. These ones have a t-shirt material as opposed to the flannel in the other pair. And I did buy him another pair. They do have the like jogger bottom on there. 
I did buy my older son a pair of like army camo pants um, in the same style gosh before Christmas um, and so or was that even before Thanksgiving I think it was before Thanksgiving anyways <laughs> I did I bought him some and um, he has really been liking them and wearing them a lot so I picked up another pair of these for him and I will keep an eye out for a blue pair for my eight-year-old soon hopefully they'll have them back in stock so that is everything that I got at Target have you found anything fun and exciting at Target recently I would love to know and hear about it in the comments down below I did do a get ready with me doing this makeup look um, I actually filmed it right before I filmed this so if you want to check that out um, I think I'll probably post this Target haul first but um, probably let's see today is Saturday I'll probably post this one today and I'll probably post the get ready with me tomorrow which will be Sunday for all of you um, but I used the itsy palette that I got in my latest let's see my December ipsy glam bag plus um, box so I thought I would show you guys this one and how I created this eye look which I have worn in several videos prior to this. So anyways, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you will give this video a thumbs up as it really does help me out and my video to be seen. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos and you guys know I'll be talking to you soon. Bye guys!